Hi, my channel name is Second Era of Moles, and if you clicked on this video accidentally, 90 seconds is all I ever ask. Welcome back to Loot Crate Highlights. This month is for February 2017, and the theme is build. So you build. Build! And this month I want to start off by talking about some new things from Loot Crate. So they've rebranded a little, they've got a new logo which is going to appear. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Not sure whether I like it over the old logo because that was actually a, a box but you know we'll see how we come around to it in the next few weeks and months and you never know even years and the other thing I want to talk about is a, a new thing that Loot Crate launched also this month which is called the Secret Order of Keys so it's a new initiative we'll call it initiative that Loot Crate have introduced just this month and it's basically getting you to interact with all of the items in your box and if you complete all of the challenges in time you win an extra bit of loot in your in your next month's crate and it's just a, a series of, of challenges or puzzles or, or something like that to get you yeah engaging with all of the stuff that comes in the box and it's a really cool idea I really like the idea of getting you to do something extra and you can you can win something whether you know whether it's a big thing or a small thing we'll see next month and see what comes with it but the one thing I didn't like about it was the amount of printing that you had to do I think if you'd have printed off everything you would have been printing off like 20 sheets of paper and that to me is just ridiculous I mean, I, I try not to print off anything these days because you can keep it all on your computer. I managed to kind of work my way around it. It was easier with some of the challenges than others. But I just don't like the idea of asking people to print out lots and lots of paper. It doesn't sit well with me. So I like the initiative behind it. And I think that what they actually did was pretty damn cool but I just think the execution of it could be reviewed a little bit so that you're not asking people to print off shitloads of paper. But we'll see. We'll see what next month brings with it and whether I'm still complaining then. So let's move on to the list. And the first item on this month's list, number three, is a franchise that I have a lot, a lot of love for. And it's these Tetris fridge magnets. The, the little tetrominoes or tetrominoes, tetrominoes, and I made I made a bit of an error because they come on this they come on this board, and I was like oh yeah I'll leave them nicely on the board because it looks nice, and then a couple of days ago I was like yeah I'll go and put them down on the fridge, and I I started to like break them up that's why it's in two pieces and I was like snap, oh bugger. That's backwards. I've got a lot of love for Tetris. I've played many hours of Tetris in my time, and it's a game that really appeals to me because it's about how things tessellate and move together and puzzling your way through and the reactions when it gets really quick to try and get that piece out over to the side and in the right position so that you can drop it down before it screws you over and at the end where you're just frantically trying to switch things around and get them in vaguely the, the right place and then that like last gasp where things get out of control where you're like no 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 oh game over gosh darn it but those will adorn my fridge for many a, a day to come and hopefully be holding important documents on there <laughs> Coming in at number two this month is the T-shirt. Yay! And it's Power Rangers. It's Power Rangers theme. So it's the like Megazord thing when it comes together and shine your hat comes together. Go go Power Rangers! Yeah, I used to watch Power Rangers a lot when I was a little kid. I've got a new Power Rangers movie coming out as well. We'll see how good and or bad that is but coming on like a grid as well being a loop a loop a blueprint a blueprint for your loo a blueprint and like being a blueprint as well 
the way it like comes together and showing you how it all fits together really fits in well with the build theme. So, it's a win from my book! And also Power Rangers was the little pin, a little coloured in version of the Megazoid. Is that what it called? Megazoid? Or Megazord? And the number one item in this month's crate. I'm Batman! <laughs> it's a Batman like biscuit tin or food container. And it's Lego Batman. I remember that when the first Lego Batman game came out, I got it on the Nintendo DS. Great game, a lot of fun, really well executed by the team that made that game. Second one I wasn't quite so impressed with, the controls, at least on the DS or the 3DS, whichever it was on, felt a little bit loose, a little bit not quite as, as tight as the first game and a little bit all over the place. I know that there was a lot more going on, so you had like Superman flying around and all of the different DC characters coming in as well and they needed their own like control mechanisms and that sort of thing. But I think the first one is, is definitely my favourite. And like looking at him, his eyes are completely white and it makes me want to like put little eyeballs in so that he either looks like he's cross-eyed or that he looks like a crazy person or a silly person. And you like screw the top of his cowl off. Yeah. And you can put like food inside. And then the top also becomes a hat. Now I am Batman. <laughs> Criminals of Gotham, beware. And those are your Loot Crate highlights for February 2017. That thing was Bill's. The next month's theme for March, I believe, is Primal, so we'll see what comes along in there. There's already hints of something to do with Overwatch with Winston. That looks pretty cool. We'll see what comes from the Secret Order of the Keys. I believe that I won something. I got it in in time. So hopefully we'll see what that is, whether it was actually worth it or whether I just wasted, like, seven hours doing it. That's not actually that big of an overestimation. It was probably more like four, but the way that I chose to do it, to fudge it, took quite a long time. So we'll see. But if you've made it past the 90 second mark, thank you very much and congratulations. If you've made it this far, maybe you're willing to go a bit further. You can follow me on Twitter, I'm at RainmakerNO12, or you can subscribe to the channel for notifications of future videos. But thank you very much for watching this one, and goodbye. <laughs>